Facebook.com. Oh my gosh, I have had so much trouble getting on here today. I hope you're there waiting for me. I'm so sorry that it took me so long to get on. I just had, all I can say is just things happening and I wasn't, things, <laughs> every device I had did not seem to be charged. I don't even know why. Um, okay, there. I, I think probably half of you just left because I wasn't even on. I am so sorry. Um, we just, Ellie had to go out and um, right at like two minutes of, and I couldn't believe it. I don't know why she would have to go out at that time. And so I took her out, I came back in, the phone wasn't charged even though I'd left it on the charger. Um, the extension cords didn't work. Oh my gosh, it's just been one of those. <laughs> I've got cords all over my desk. And so if the phone looks I to plug, anyway. Hello, how are all of you today? It's so good to see you. Yep, it's saying I have a low battery. And the problem is if I plug the phone in regarding the low battery, then you can't hear me very much. And so Tracy, Pam, Roz, Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do about the low battery thing. Um, I'm gonna have to take off the uh, the microphone for a while to get to get the um, the charger going. So I will just talk really loud, okay? And maybe you could just look. I'm just so sorry, Marsha. Hilda, Tina, I know it's hot all over. It's like 104 out here right now. It's really hot. So don't give up. I'm going to put the uh, I'm going to put the charger on, and you're not going to hear me very well. But I'm going to show you things. Well, you know, I think we'll maybe do our project first because you can watch the project, and then we'll do our announcements and stuff toward the end. Um, it's been one of those days too, Roz. Yes, Ro watching the kids since 9 a.m. Oh boy, and they finally left. Well, I just want to tell you before I have to just, you know, switch and put the um, plug in for the phone that because I record this on the phone that just at 12 o'clock, I've been so busy all day, just well, 12 my time. So just um, three hours ago, we got to see the new catalog online and I can't even tell you how beautiful it is and how you're going to love everything. It's one of the best catalogs I've seen in quite a long time. So I just have to say that and just get that out of the way. We get to pre-order on August 2nd, um, and I'm going to start showing you stuff right away. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Okay. I just want to, oh, Cindy, you saw Barbie. Let me know what you thought. Um, I do have, I have, um, the, the phone itself, though, only has two, has one plug. Who's asking me that? Renee. And the one plug goes with the cord that charges it or the microphone. And I had the phone on a flat charging microphone that I, I mean, ex, uh, charger, but it apparently didn't charge. I don't know. I don't even know what's going on. I want to show you first of all, though, because this is of prime importance. I'm going to walk around with you. I'm going to switch you over and I'm going to walk you around. Let's see, um, let's see if I can turn you. There we go. Okay, so this is my craft room. And I hope you don't get dizzy. But what I, well, I guess maybe I don't even need to get up. What I wanted to show you is my mystery boxes. Okay, there they are. I, ha I had, I have seven left. I started the morning with nine, so I've sold two already. They are packed. Each box has a minimum of 12 stamp sets in them. I have little labels of what's in them. This one has 14 stamp sets, two punches, two embossing folders, two uh, die sets, plus more. I throw in little goodies, but I wanted to show you this one because I know you've liked these before. This is my box of ribbons. I have packed into a medium priority box 45 partial rolls. They're partial because I use them and then I don't always use them up. So I've got 45 partial rolls of ribbon in here. All Stampin' Up! ribbon, 45 rolls, you guys. And I know that was really popular last year. 
Okay, I'm gonna t and I'll talk to you about it in a minute. I'm gonna turn you around so you can see Ellie. There she is, laying in front of her little bed um, because it's cooler on the tile. Here's my one charger, and then I've got another. I mean, it's just a whole. It's a whole thing. So let me bring you back now. Okay. Oh my gosh. So that's the little tour. But anyway, regarding the mystery boxes. I really am excited for them because I've packed so much in them, and I'm uh, selling. I'm not selling them. I'm giving the way, giving them away as a free gift to you. Uh, when you place a $100 order in my online shop, you can order anything you want, and you earn bonus coupons. $5 coupon for every $50, $50 of your order. So if you place a $100 order with me, you'll get two $5 coupons that will be emailed to you by Stampin' Up! and right away I'll put a mystery box in the mail to you. And like I said, I've already had two go out this morning and I had, I need his phone. That's kind of true. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plug the phone in and I'll start, um, I'll start uh, making, we, today I have a card and a really cute um, little box. So I'm going to speak really loudly. Let me know if that's working. I'm going to put the charger on. Okay, we're charging. So how are you hearing right now? Oh, yes, Tammy, the catalog is beautiful. So are you hearing okay now that I'm practically screaming? Let me know if that's working. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn you down. And we'll start our projects. And hopefully you can... Um, you can get it. Okay. This right here, let me see. This is the cute little tea uh, caddy, or you can put other things in it. 114 Vicky. Oh my gosh, you poor girl. I'm so glad you're inside. I'm so glad you're inside. No, Cindy. Yes. Oh, yes. All demonstrators, no customers. Okay, good. Oh, Carol, I'm so sorry. I'm going to yell more. Okay, can you hear it now? Yes, all demonstrators. It's online today at noon, my time. So this is the little uh, caddy for tea, and here's how it looks. And this is a little card, so you can put a little card in the back of it, or you can put a tea bag. I mean, there's, there's two sides. Okay, I'm, I'm trying my best. And then there's a coordinating uh, card to go with it. Isn't that cute? We'll charge the phone just a little and then I'll put the, uh, magna the uh, microphone back on. Okay, so I want to show you how to make this. And if you have a pencil, you might want to get it out so you can take the different measurements. I just got this the other day from a friend. <coughs> a friend. If I yell, then I start to have weird coughing. But um, the paper, yes, it's from Delightfully Eclectic. You get a gift card, absolutely. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. Um, it would be a little taller, but it definitely will. And you could fit something inside there, too. But the tea bag, the constant comment tea bag fits in. So let me show you. And I have a little a little diagram that I will post tomorrow. Here is the little diagram. <laughs> it's actually it, but it's not as complicated as it looks. Okay, so here is the paper, 12 by 12, and we're going to take our paper trimmer and we're going to put the arm out because we're going to need that. Okay, so what we're going to do? It's going to be 12 long and eight and a half wide. So the first thing is to cut it to eight and a half right here. And then that's where we get this piece left over to make the card it comes from this piece. Okay, just like that. So are you hearing okay now that I'm yelling? Let me know if, if you can hear, sort of. Um, okay, so now the rest of what we're going to be doing is just scoring. So I'm putting the uh, cutting blade down so I just have the score blade only, the gray score blade. Oh, Gary Derry, 
Ghirardelli chocolate squares. Absolutely. Okay. Now, where's my little picture? Oh, here we go. Okay. So, what we're going to do on the, we're going to turn it lengthwise. Okay. And we're going to go two and a half and two and a half more. All right. So, two and a half. It really is fun, and it, there's hardly any gluing. Okay, good, Ross, thank you. And then actually five, because that's two times two and a half. All right, two and a half and five. Turn it over, still long ways, and do the same thing again. Two and a half, okay, and five. Now that's all you're doing on the long side. That's your long side. Okay, now let's go on the eight and a half side. And what we're gonna do is two and a half here on, on the left. So it's really not that hard, right? It looks in the picture like a lot. And then two and a half on the right. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, now we can start uh, folding and doing a little bit of cutting, okay? So let's start folding. And this side of the paper is so pretty too. You want to have one that looks good on the back and the front. Oh good, take the closed caption option. And I'll, I'll put it back on the microphone in a minute. Because look how pretty the inside looks right there and right here. So you can see both sides of the, um, of the beautiful paper. Oh, you guys, wait till you see the Christmas paper. It's gorgeous. And we could make some of these from the Christmas paper. It would be beautiful. So we're going to um, burnish our, our folds as we go. Okay, burnish. And folding. Okay. I'm just doing this so it goes together. It really goes together much better. Now I want to show you something. This is the bottom of the little container. You can see this is only two where the others are two and a half. So that's the bottom, kind of like that. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're on the long side and we're going to cut off the top squares on each end. Okay. So we're just going to cut right along that, along that, um, line that was uh, scored. Cut right along the score line. Let me get my glasses on. I think my husband hears me yelling and probably wonders why is she yelling so much. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well in this heat. It is so crazy hot and I know Vicki, so many of you are so much hotter than I am. I'm just, it's just awful. But I am thankful that we have we have air conditioning. Hi, Margaret. How are you? Good to see you from Australia. You're the cool one. I my microphone is not on right now, so um, that's why it's hard to hear me. But I'm trying to yell. Okay, so we're cutting off all four corners. You guys have made boxes. You know how to do this. Just like. This. Okay, so we've got all four corners cut. So now it looks like this. Okay, this is the top and the bottom. And then sideways it looks like this. Cherie, good to see you. Linda, 100 tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we're going to get out our uh, paper trimmer one more time for scoring. And we're going to score each end here at one and a half. One and a half. Let's see. I guess I have to do it. Come. How am I going to do it? Okay. One and a half. Let me see. I don't know. Okay. Here. Nope. I guess I have to put it way down in here. I'm trying to remember how I did it before. There. You have to just bring it down further. Okay. So one and a half and score. And the other end. And then that's the last with the paper tray. Right, and now we're ready to fold it up and create it. Okay, so, whoa, that doesn't look cool. Well, 
that was supposed to be in half. That doesn't look right. Oh yeah, because it was two and a half. Oh, maybe it was, it was supposed to be one and a quarter. Oh, sorry. My mistake. It was supposed to be one and a quarter. I'm just a little not thinking too well. But let's go back to one and a quarter. I don't think anybody will notice because this is the handle. One and a quarter is half of two and a half. So there we go. One and a quarter. Now we're all set. And again, I'll be posting that little picture tomorrow on my blog so you can see. So here we go. We're going to fold these little guys. These are going to be the handles. It's a real quick little thing to make. Right there. Okay. Now, this is interesting. Okay. So, I'll put my finger up here. <laughs> so, you take this corner and just bring it down and fold it in a triangle. Right down into that corner. Just like that. Okay. Just like that. And that makes those triangle sides. All four of those edges you bring right down into the corner. Just like that. And I'll show you how it works. It's almost done. I mean, there's really not much to do once you get that, uh, once you get the scoring done. And I think this is just going to, this would be cute also for um, Halloween for friends, of course, not to give out to kids or anything. Hi, Siomara. Oh, yes. Good idea, Becky. Good idea. Let's do that. Use the bone folder to press out the wrong line. Oh, it's coming out really nicely. Good idea. You guys are so smart. Thank you so much, Becky. Look at that. You can hardly see it. And there's going to be ribbon over that, too. There's going to be ribbon. Yeah. Very good idea. Thank you. Okay. So, now what we do, let me try to remember. We fold one of these on top of the other, just like that. And there we go. Fold it up. Did you see that? I'll do it again. So, maybe we'll just... Um, We'll just use our bone folder here to press down a little better. And then you put this one over this, press down, and I'll, I'm going to go ahead and burnish those lines there. And we'll burnish this one. Press that in. And then you have your cute little container. Whoops, wrong side. Mistake, boo boo. <laughs> oh, goodness. Poke it here. There we go. That's the way it's supposed to go. The opposite direction so the little envelope side shows. There we go. Thank you, Becky. Okay, and there it is. There it is. So cute. I'm just going to tuck that right under there. Isn't that just cute? See how it does that? I know, Siomara. I'm let me see if I can put my microphone. In. was not charged properly and I had to put the charger into the hole that the microphone goes in. But I guess I can stop yelling now for a minute. Okay. So there we go. There is our cute little container. And what I like to do, you don't need to, but I did. I went ahead and glued this, the top flaps down just like that and just glue them so they don't go anywhere. and that will stick. And then I'm going to ask you a question. Has anybody, who knows what this is? Tell me what it is. Who can tell me what this is? Let me, I'm going to wait a few minutes. Oh, thank you, Linda. Oh, yes, it is very cute. Okay, who knows what this little guy is? Does anybody know that it's kind of a long name? Thank you, Siamara. I'll go as long as I can until my phone starts pooping out again. 
well, you know, losing its charge. So this is called a crocodile, if you don't know what it is. It's a funny name and sometimes I forget it, but I remembered for this. Yes, it's a crocodile. It's not a Stampin' Up! Project, uh, product, but it punches holes here and here. I'll hold it up so you can see right there. Watch the, watch the thing close. Can you see it close there? And then over here. So all different sized holes. And the other thing, it's so fancy that I barely know how to use it. But okay, on this side, you can un, unscrew that little, that little thing there. And so you can have the exact length that you want to stick your project in. It's quite, it's quite the instrument. It, it, it really is. But I use it for things like this. So I'm going to put my little lit top tabs up now. They've been glued. I'm going to use the larger of the, of the punches, which is right here, the hole punches. And I'm going to put this right in there. And can you see how it does that? It's called a crocodile, And you just punch it real hard, and it punches through all of it. Isn't that neat? And it's a nice, pretty hole. It's not a goofy, big hole like, you know, elementary school projects or anything. <laughs> it's called a crocodile. Oh, see, Amara, you have one. Oh, it also sets eyelets. Okay, that's maybe what it's really for. Um, but anyway, it works really great for things like this. And so what I'm going to do is put one of these, um, this is a petal pink, one of our petal pink ribbons. And it comes in a double pack with some uh, pretty light green ribbon. I think it's a uh, parakeet party maybe ribbon. And I'm going to tie a bow. Now you could do anything. The, the gal, my friend that I got it from, she had hers clipped together with this little clippy. One of these. So she had hers. She didn't punch a hole. She did it like that. But you guys know me. I love to tie bows and I love pretty ribbons. And Stampin' Up! has such pretty ribbons that I really wanted to tie a bow. And so I made kind of a fancy bow. Oh, Stampin' Up! did sell it for years. Okay, I, I, when I joined, um, it wasn't available, and some other crafty ladies um, told me what to get because it really does come in handy. So we're going to tie our bow. Let me see if I can get it just the way I want it over here. And I will just tell you how to to add all the foo-foo that I added to my bow. Let's see here. You have you know you have to play with your with your bows to get them to be just the way you want them to be. Okay, that looks pretty good. And what I did on this one, and that got kind of messed up when I was showing it to you. For this one, I added some of this yellow ribbon. Where do I have it? That's I cut in half that comes it's it's not in stock right now. They're ordering more. It came with the yellow, the pink, um, lemon lolly, bubble bath, and azure afternoon. And I just tied it around in a knot. You just tie it. This is how you can add, um, add more fun to your bows. And that is something I really like to do, is just add a lot of fun to my bows. So we're going to do this. And all you have to do is just pull it tight, and that's that. And then I added some um, baker's twine. Just take a bunch of baker's twine and cut it right. I just I want to make it double, and then you just do the exact same thing. That's hooked together. You pull it. Let me put it down like this so you can see. And I pull this up like this under the knot of the bow. Let me get my other piece. What's happening here? Okay. And then you just tie just a simple knot will hold it. That way the person can open, open the little package if they wanted to. And you just pull that tight like that. And then you have your, your bow with the little legs on it, all the little 
all the little things and you just trim them off. Isn't that kind of cute? Let's see, let's trim this one. I always like to leave plenty of ribbon loose so that I can have long tails on my bows. I'm just kind of showing you how to do a fussy ribbon. And you see it, um, the artisans do this type of thing a lot. And then you can just trim those as, as little as you want. Just do it any way that you want to, but I think it looks pretty cute. Now we're gonna make the insides. Now I did save a, um, I brought a green tea bag from Bigelow that we'll put in this one. So we'll have a constant comment in a green tea and it just slips right in there like that. And now we're gonna make the little card that goes there and also creates the card that accompanies it. So let's get started with our, because you'd wanna give a, pre, as a card maker, we are gonna to want to give a pretty card with our little um, tea caddy or candy, whatever. It's, and I, in this way you can use the leftover of your paper. Okay, so let's get it going the right direction, okay? And what we're gonna do is start with Petal Pink. You love the fussy ribbon? Good. Yeah, just keep playing, that's what I do. Cut some ribbon in half, shred some ribbon. It's, it's just fun, I love bows and I love ribbons. So that's why I do it. And then we're gonna, you could put this piece down, but I'm gonna, I like the daisy piece because it goes really well with our, um, with our little, I don't have a name for it, like a tea caddy, but that sounds kind of old fashioned because we could put so much in it. I'd like to think of a cuter name for it. You know, when you see these things, people don't tell you the names because they don't usually know them either. So, Okay, we've got all kinds of things we're gonna play with here. So, I already pre-cut these. Now, the stamp set I'm using is Circle Sayings, and I'm only using one stamp, and it's the word smile. This has really good sayings on it. And the die set that I'm using is really a classic. If you don't have it, that would be a great thing to order to get one of my mystery boxes. I'm thinking, I don't, I can't say for sure. Well, we can't say for sure. Let's look it up in our um, catalog, Nested Essentials. I'm thinking they're about $50. What do you think? Let's see, so we can find out here. N, so they're alphabetical. And you, we Nested Essentials, oh, they're not, they're only $34, that's a bargain for dyes, I think, because some of them are more expensive. So we're using the Nested Essentials, these two um, biggest ones. And I've cut everything except the small petal pink um, one just to save time, okay? So let's go ahead and cut this one with our adorable boho blue. If you don't have this, if you don't have a mini embossing machine, I'm telling you, I use mine every day. I have a big machine, but this one just sits right on my desk, and it, like for this card, there's no reason to even use the big machine at all. I just use my little mini all the time. Oh, exciting day with your daughter, Marsha. I will go back and see how you folded the caddy. Oh, you love Barbie, good. Oh, how, how you folded the, okay, yes. Go back and see. and. Yay for watching the Barbie movie. It's a, well, I'm not going to make any more comments. It's, it, we, my daughter and I had a really good time. Okay, so we need two of these, one for the card and one for our little, um, I'm just going to call it the tea caddy, okay? And then we're going to stamp smile on one, only one, and that's the one that goes on the card, and I'm going to use petal pink ink. The card stock, Linda, is, um, it's petal pink. Petal pink, yep. Thank you, Marsha. Um, okay, so this is just really easy. And you know, 
Um, we had that truck class over the weekend here, a local class, and I was showing the ladies. So you guys are such good stampers, you probably know this, but with the photopolymer stamps, you can just set the stamp right on the ink, especially the new pads that are very juicy. You can just set it on there and you can watch the ink just color the stamp and then you know you're good to go. You don't need to blast it because that makes such a mess. You just set it and if you need to tap a few times. That's a little hint. Okay. Look how pretty that stamp is. It's just a cute little sentiment that um, this way it isn't for any particular occasion. You're just giving someone a little cute little sentiment that says smile on their card because you want to, you might want to, you know, you could even take this with a little candy like to your dentist or something. I'm sh I guess maybe it would have to be sugar-free candy if you give it to the dentist. But definitely tea bag. Although Although Dennis, tea stains teeth too. I guess a dentist isn't the, the person to speak about. Now, I have these little flowers and I wanna show you how to make the flowers, okay? And then that'll complete, we'll have, then we'll have everything we need for our project. The little cute flowers are made using the Petal Park Builder Punch. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna use these two flowers right here, the little one and the medium. And it's easy. Look at this little tiny piece. I'm just going to slide it right in there for the little, the little flower. This is Lemon Lolly, and this is Daffodil Delight, and I'm just going to slide that right in for the medium flower. I already made the one flower to save time. Okay, so here are our little flowers. And to make them curl up, I've shown you this before, but I cut just a little bit, like an eighth to a quarter of an inch in on the petals, and then you have more room to um, curl them. To curl, I don't know, I don't really like a flat flower in paper crafting because it just doesn't seem realistic. When you can curl it up, it always adds more interest. Okay, so we're just gonna cut in a little bit and then with our bone folder, you just roll that little petal right over like that. And it just curls all those little petals. See, I'll just put it down. See how they're all curled up? And then you're gonna do that with the little one too. It has a few more little petals. And you can always, once you've done this, you can always fluff it up once, right before you give it or something. I'm gonna add one little dot of glue and put the second flower right on top of it, kind of trying to angle the petals. And then we're going to add uh, one of these uh, pretty peacock um, sequins. I love these sequins, and I don't know if you noticed, but the inside of this paper, the back side has pretty peacock on it, and so I knew that was a color that we could use. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to do this quickly because I see my phone running out of power. Okay, there we go. So this is our card, and we're just gonna go ahead and glue our flower right onto the front of the card, the little, um, this card, just like that. And then we're gonna use a few dimensionals on the back to put it on the front of the card just a few. It doesn't take too many. It's an, this is an easy card. If you just want, want to make some easy cards, you could stamp any sentiment on the front. I love this little um, die cut label piece. It's really cute. Okay, so there's our card. And let's make our piece that goes into our little tea caddy. We're just going to glue this on and then we're gonna glue our flower on. I'll put it just kind of at the top like that. And just put that on like that. Okay, we're gonna let that dry one minute. We're gonna put a little bow on the front of our card so it coordinates. Anthony, so good to see you. How are you? How is London? 
It's good to see you. Marsha, your dentist has two huge bowls of candy on the counter? Wow, with raffle tickets. <laughs> no breakfast needed. That's a nice dentist. Anthony, we were talking about taking this uh, cute little thing we're making here. It's a, it's like a little tea caddy, but you could also put a, um, you could put a Ghirardelli square in there. And we're talking about taking it to the dentist and giving it to them as a, a little thank you. And so I'm going to just put some little glue dots on here. Maybe just one will do it. To adhere this bow just like that and so there is our um, card and here is the green tea let's fix our bow a little bit and on the back side we're going to slide this little card in and you could write something on this card and just slide it in like that so there is your there's your project for today Yes, watch the replay. The guy arrived to fix your window blind, Cindy. Okay, great. Tea is certainly something you know about, Anthony. Yes, wouldn't that be just a, I think it's just a cute little gift and a nice card to go with. And Anthony, I've been having a lot of trouble with my sound, so um, I'm actually going to switch you guys up right now. Let me see if, oops. Let me try it again. Okay, great, and we'll give away the prize. Be sure you put prize. The prize for next week is both of these. I'm gonna send to you, because now I have two. What I'll do is I'll take the little tea caddy and I'll flatten it out for you, and I'll put it all in a padded, uh, a pink padded um, little envelope for you. So this is the prize for next week, both of these together. But last week our prize was, and I'm just gonna give it away quick and then we can get off the air so my phone doesn't poop out. Um, last week our prize was this beautiful azure afternoon ribbon. This is one of the three that comes like the yellow we just used. And we used it in our card last week. That's why I'm giving it away. And the winner is Tammy, my friend from down the street. You won the random number generator picked you. So Tammy, I don't even need to send this to you. You can pick it up the next time you're over at my house. And thank you guys for um, putting up with our my, you know, just everything was crazy today. Ellie didn't even get on. Ellie, what are you doing? She's over there sound asleep on the, now she's on the wood floor sleeping. I'm sorry I didn't have her at the beginning. Um, I'll try to charge up my phone better next time. I don't even know what happened. So thank you all. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And don't forget about my mystery boxes. Um, they tend to go really fast. So a $100 order. Uh, before tax and shipping in the Stampin' Up! store and um, I will see your order. I will send you a mystery box. Each one has 12 stamp sets minimum. Some have 13 or 14. The retired plus a couple of dies, one or two punches, a couple of embossing folders and then if you want the box of ribbons, 45 partial spools of Stampin' Up! ribbon if you place a $75 order in my Stampin' Up! store and then email me and let me know. I can find your address otherwise also on your order, but it's good to let me know that you want those things and I'll get them out right away. I've already sent out the two that uh, went this morning, so I would love to send you a mystery box. So thank you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye-bye.